good morning. It's Pastor Sandy coming to you with a time of refreshing. I wanted to talk to you a little bit this morning about sometimes do you feel like your life is under construction? Do you feel like maybe sometimes you've boxed yourself in or you feel boxed in? Maybe because of the way things have always been or the way, the thing, the way you used to do things or why are things not the way they were? Well, you know what, sometimes under construction, you can kind of look around and it seems like, whoa, we have got a mess. But sometimes that's the way life is. You've got to get rid of some of the old before God can bring in the new. You know, there can't be that transformation until we get rid of the old. In Psalms 139, it says, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. I just want you to know how special you are today. And once we get rid of this old let me show you what god wants to do he wants to take what was not useful anymore and what seems to be maybe so hard for you to let go of god wants to take what was old what seemed to be yuck and now look transform it into something brand new transform it into something better See, this is a brand new deck now, and it still has work that's in progress, but eventually all of this will be replaced with new. It doesn't mean that that didn't have a purpose at the time. That didn't mean that that didn't serve us and it served us well, but now we've got to have something new. We need to have something better. Well, that's what God's wanting to do in our lives. He's wanting to say, trust me. Trust me and let go of the old and let's walk into the new because in the new I've got something better. I've got benefits for you that you have not even tapped into because we're still holding on to the old. I don't know about you, but I want to tap into all that God has for me. I want to be aware of all of his goodness. You know, God has something better for us just like this deck now is going to be better than what we had. And it's going to serve now a greater purpose, just like what God wants to do in your life. You know, but we got to begin to walk in it. We got to begin to trust him. And you say, well, how can I do this? Well, we just got to trust him. We got to walk in it daily, draw closer to him, because when we draw closer to God, that's when the transformation will come. You know, he, you got to get in his word. You got to get connected, but then you got to stay connected. It can't just be every once in a while or on and off or Sunday every so often. It's got to be a daily thing. God's wanting to impart something in us and through us for our lives to go out there and tell the story. Tell the story of his goodness and love. It's time for us to begin to accessing all of the benefits that God has for us. You know, he wants us to walk in his way in every way. He wants us to trust him every day in every way everything he wants us to be able to say god i'm trusting you in every area of my life but you're going to have to tap into it i have to tap into it it's not just going to happen automatically we've got to take that time and step out get out of your box get out of the construction zone that was good for then but now god's got this god's got something better he wants to put you into a larger territory because God's got greater things and see not just for you he wants you to be blessed to be a blessing because there's people out there you don't even know their name but God has attached them for your life to affect their life so we've got to be blessed in order to be a blessing we got to go and tell in order for them to hear but we got to walk in now into the new thing don't be afraid God said, do not fear, for I am with you, with you. I will never leave you, never forsake you. But let's trust God for the starting over, for the greater thing, for the better that he has for us, the new beginnings and the new adventure that he has in our life for us. And he wants us to begin to flourish like never before. So let's choose to believe. Let's choose to expect the better, the new, the greater that he has for us. And let's choose to say, God, I'm going to choose your joy. I'm going to choose your peace. And I'm going to choose to trust you no matter what I see, no matter how it feels, no matter how it looks. 
I'm choosing to believe that you've got better for me. You've got something new. You've got something greater. So I don't know about you, but I'm ready to walk into the new thing. I'm ready to start over in some areas of my life. I'm ready to have some greater things. And you know what? When you begin to walk in the new, when you begin to say, you know what, God, I trust you to start over. Because if you're taking me from one thing, that means you've got something better. See, in the beginning, this was okay, but now this is better. God's saying, I've got something better for you, but you're going to have to trust him. Father, I thank you right now for everybody under the sound of my voice. Oh, God, let them have courage rise up in them this day. Let them be encouraged, God, to trust you. Let them see the new. Let them see the better. Let them see that starting over is not a bad thing. It's a good thing because that means you've got something greater for them. You've got something greater for us. I speak peace. I speak joy. I speak blessing over your people right now, those that are listening. And you say, well, I don't really know God in this way. It's easy. You can start today. Get in his word. Listen. Listen for his voice. And he will speak to you. Get in his word daily. Spend time with him. Begin to praise him. God has greater and better for you. All you have to do is believe and expect. Father, I thank you right now even for healing and bodies. There's people that are struggling with physical illnesses right now. And I declare wholeness and healing over their bodies. But I bind up that spirit of fear for the new beginning, for the starting over. And to let go of the way it was, the way it always used to be, and into the new. And we thank you for that today, Father. Oh, we thank you. Well, I hope you were encouraged today. Get this image of the new that God has. Don't look at it as a bad thing. Because when God takes away some things, when God rebuilds, that means he's making something better. Because he's got greater things for our life. He's expanding our territory for you to be blessed and then you to go be a blessing. So until next time, keep it simple, my sisters, and I bless my brothers.